Hello and welcome back to the Iverson player career mode. In the last episode, we struggled to score and struggled to get wins as we sit all the way down in 22nd with three wins from our opening 21 matches. And with that sort of form, questions have been asked about whether Scott Lindsay, our current manager, is the right man for the job. With Lindsay now under the hot seat, results are needed if he wants to stay and we are kicking off this episode hosting Salford City. Salford City currently sit in second place which makes this game for Lindsay extremely difficult. Can we kick off this episode with a win and potentially save our manager's job? That's a good ball. That's a good ball. Now why does no one ever get their fucking head on it? I've seen driving in. Iverson! Yeah, that works! Telford! Ah! How is it? How is it in? How has he saved that? That was definitely a pass from me. For sure. Alright, that's half time. Nilo. Uh, big chance for Telford. Other than that, no real chance created. But defensively looks secure. But again, can't take our chances. The deep cross. Oh my god, that's ambitious. Fair enough. Oh my god, he's actually got there! And they've scored! Oh, bro. I didn't actually think he was going to get there. Oh my god. He went like a player of the love of him. Oh, and here we are again. We had the best chance of the game. Didn't score. And now we're losing. I don't know how this has got in. Just a flick on. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're supposed to go to the 10. What is that for a pass? Oh, Iverson runs past it! Come on, man! What? Do that. Nice, Iverson. Can you play 10? It's a shit pass. It's fine. It's Iverson. Uh. Yep. Play back! Yes! Iverson! No! It's been saved! No! That was the chance! Oh, it's full time. That was the chance. That was actually really good play. And again, we can't score. Again, we lose. Oh, just never ends. The misery never ends. After yet another loss and another game without a goal, the Crawley Town fans are becoming restless. A lot of fans are furious with a lack of attacking threat from the team, having only scored 15 goals so far this season. And with those reactions from the fans, rumours around the club have been circulating whether the club will sack Lindsay as our club captain, Ben Gladwin, messaged us regarding the rumours, saying that the rumours are potentially true about the club looking at a replacement, but don't let that change your mindset. We still have to go out there and give 100% against Mansfield Town. And this is very true, as our next match against Mansfield is huge, as they currently sit just above us in 21st, four points ahead of us in 22nd. This is a massive match for not just the club, but also for the manager. Can we finally find some form, or will the manager be sacked? Uh, it's been one game, but... Nice ball. Iverson. Pass the ball! First time, man! He's onside. You're so fucking lucky he's onside. Actually so lucky. Go on! Telford! No, it's been blocked! No! Mansfield building. He's just running around. Keeper, it is straight at you. Not that difficult to save. You should be comfortably claiming that. Come on, man. Oh, that's just set up for him. Good. Okay, that's a bit of save. That's a bit of save. Still alive. Still very much alive for Mansfield. Okay, now you want to catch it. See, that's good. That's good keeping. That's better. Half time, Dill. Uh, really big chance for Telford, but I mean, that last period, they probably should have scored, so. We'll take a nil all, but again, it's nil all. We all know what happens when it's nil all at half time. We lose. Oh my god, I've seen that sexy. It's got to. I need, I need a 45. I need a 45. I've sent it to the shops and there's no one there. Excellent bit of skill. Come on, someone win a header for once in our fucking lives. Yes, number six. What a save. Well, how has he saved that? Oh, get off it, bro. Get off it, man. How are we not scored there? No, it's number 28. Can you play it inside? First time! This game is unbelievable. Yeah, let me take a touch there. Two people completely open to my right. I'll take a touch. Yeah. Fuck off, bro. 
I hate this game. That was such a big chance. Full time nil all. Uh, I'm sick of not being able to score with this team, man. It is infuriating. I mean, we should have we should have scored. I don't know how we didn't. Uh, it's another day. Shit performed. Well, not really shit performance, but shit in front of all. Now, after the conclusion of yet another game without putting the ball in the back of the net, the rumours around Lindsay's future become reality. As Crawley Town officially parted ways with Scott Lindsay, saying they appreciate his efforts, but it's time for a new direction and will announce a new manager soon. And this is how the Crawley Town fans reacted to the news. Most fans were over the moon to hear the news of his sacking, but there has been a few more mixed reactions as some fans are just hoping that the next manager that walks through the doors can make a real change and improve the team. But as Lindsay leaves, he sends us a parting message saying that he believes in our ability and potential. And he's confident that we will contribute heavily to the club and he wishes us the best for the future of our career. Now only a few days later, Crawley Town have officially made the announcement of a new manager. And his name is David Artel. He was formerly the Crew Alexandra manager, but had been sacked earlier on in the season. He joins us only having a few days before our big match against Wimbledon. The new gaffer plays a 4-2-3-1 narrow system, which means we will be deployed in our natural cam role, which will hopefully help with creating and scoring more goals. He likes to play a press and prefers fast build-up play with direct passing. This is very, very, very different from what Scott Lindsay had us playing. But Artel did send us a message introducing himself and explaining he views us as a crucial player within the setup and that we will play a pivotal role in the attack. As well as obviously saying he will deploy us in our natural role of Cam. But as the days roll on by, an unexpected message comes through from our rival. And that rival is obviously Augustine, and he is definitely talking a big game, and he claims his poor form is only temporary, but having zero goals and zero assists so far this season is a bit embarrassing. He says he will make his statement soon, I mean, he had 21 games, but whatever, and I guess we will just see how much truth was in that statement. But now it is game day, and as we look at the table, we currently sit in 20 seconds, 6 points ahead of Wimbledon in 24th. And well... Do you want to know something a bit funny? Augustine is on the bench. He talks a big game for someone who can't even start. But let's focus on the match at hand and make sure we get one over Augustine, but also that we get our new gaffer off to a winning start. Oh, chance early. Wimbledon. Wimbledon with the chance. Massive chance it's in. And the David Artel era has not kicked off very well. Wimbledon take the lead through... I don't even know who this is, but he looks like weird. He looks weird. He's built like a fucking shithouse. <laughs> uh, not the best start. Not the best start. We've got to focus. Go, you know, learn the tactics. He's only been here a few days. Oh, what a pass. Oh, it's at the edge. It's a chance for Wimbledon. Good save. It's just too far, 27. The idea was on, just too much power on it. Oh, Iverson, he nicks it. It's Iverson. Iverson. Can he play it inside? He can. Telfin! No, it's been blocked. Oh, I didn't realize I had it. Oh, fuck. I didn't even realize that was coming to me. Good ball. Oh, Iverson beats his man. Can he get it to Telford somewhere? Telford! Oh, lucky. That's a penalty, ref. No. Let me. Well done. Lovely ball. Iverson. Telford to the middle. No way, Telford. You stop your run and then it plays it flat. You are taking the pass. All right, Iverson with the set pace. Oh, it's a great ball. It's a great ball. Oh, my God. It's to be fair. All right. I don't know what our stats are for three kicks, but it's not bad. That's half time. We're losing 1-0. Um, but I think we've been the better team by a mile. Better team by a mile. Creative, yes. Um, obviously, not used to sort of playing as a cam, so I've got to get used to that. But a lot more freedom. So I feel like we're going to be attacking much better. And the chances will come, and we'll finally score some goals, maybe. Oh, uh, don't let him run through that gap. Please, keep it. It's an easy save, but it's fine. You've made the save, at least. Oh, there we go, man. 
You can play me on the 26. You can. Iverson. Plays the number 10. He's through. It's the number 10 with the chance. It's straight at him. What is the keeper doing? Oh, my God. Another chance goes begging. What is that for a pass? Iverson turns his man. 10. Back to me. Oh, what is that? Number 10. That's a shocking pass. Oh, Augustin, look at you. Oh, look at me. I'm Augustin. Someone two foot him. Oh, you're shit, mate. Honestly. You are ass, fella. Nice ball. Play me. Yes. Into Telford. Telford blocked. Corner. Take, yeah, we'll take a corner. Man, we're playing well. I have to say, we're one bit and are the worst team in the league, but still. But number nine, play me. Yes, Telford, go. Telford, can you play back inside? You can. Iverson. Iverson. Oh, it's a brilliant run. It's Iverson. No, I put it wide. I should have played it across goal. Oh, I should have played it across goal. I think there was a guy open. I think he was way open. Oh, man. You play me. Iverson, beautiful. Back to the 10. Right well on. Last chance saloon. I am absolutely dead tired. And then you pass it backwards. Oh, bro. Number 10. Augustine. Oh, look at him. Oh, he shit, mate. He is shit. Full time. Most dominant display we've produced this season under the new gather. Um, again, just wasteful in front of goal. Man. We played well, though. Hopefully, we can continue this. Hopefully, we can start to turn around our season. After our first game under the new manager, Artel, the fan reactions were quite positive, but obviously there are still some concerns from fans about our lack of ability to take our chances. But overall, I think the fans are excited to see what Artel can cook up with this Crawley team. But now we are coming up to our next match. The gaffer has let us know that we will be dropping to the bench as we are not fully fit to play this game away to Harrogate Town. We are coming off the bench with nine minutes left to play with the scores locked at nil all. Picks up the loose ball. Iverson drives inside. It's Iverson still. It's Iverson still. Oh, that's such a tabby effort. We have no, like, ability to shoot at all. Yeah, flick it on. Iverson. Yes. Iverson. I should have passed it. Telford, get there. No, I should have passed it. I saw him last second. I should have passed it across goal. Such a good effort. No, I, thought, I just went for it. I wouldn't fuck it. Nice, I've won it. It's Iverson. It's Iverson. He's done it. The Norwegian's done it for Crawley Town. Finally, Crawley Town score a goal. And it's the goat. The fucking goat. Not Messi or Ronaldo. It's Frederick Iverson. And it's his third goal of the season. Come on! Nice ball number 20. It's Iverson. Dinks inside. Nice Telfi! Chad sit in! And Harrogate Town could swivel on it. Iverson creates the... He's offside. Wait, is he not offside? Oh, he isn't offside. It's two! Iverson with the superstar performance off the bench. Thank you for coming. I don't know about you guys, but he looks pretty offside to me. He looks pretty offside to me. He looks offside to me. I mean, it depends when the... I guess the ball left up. Yeah, he looks offside. I thought he was offside. A tight call. No VAR in these divisions. Thank you. And it's full time. Crawley Town win a game. Can you believe it? We score not one, but two goals. Thanks to yours truly, Iverson. Off the bench. 10 out of 10 performance. Whew. Man, the new gaffer. He's got us playing some football. After coming off the bench and being the hero, securing our first win under our new manager, Artel, we now host Accrington. Accrington currently sit in 17th place, seven points ahead of us as we look to close the gap to our closest rivals. Can we do the unthinkable and manage to win back-to-back -back games? Nice, baby. Nice. Iverson. Oh. oh, what about that? Send him off! Send the dressing gates off! Referee! That's murder! That is actual murder! If you don't send him to prison, at minimum, it is a disgrace! How is it yellow? Oh, oh nah, referee. 
That is disgraceful. That is a disgrace. If I bloody broke my legs there, you'd be, I'm bloody suing you, mate. How is this not a red card? That is unbelievable. Jesus, these refs, mate. These refs. Say right now, bunch of cheating scumbags. Can play me line. You can play me line. Lovely ball. Iverson's in behind. Telford. Telford, why did you pass like that? Telford, finish! Oh, what a save! What a save from the keeper. Half time, nil all. Um, pretty dead half, to be honest. That's really about it. League two is really boring sometimes. Oh, yes. Iverson. Iverson! No way! Oh, no. I'm just not used to manual finishing in the slightest. What who the fuck was that? Was that to me? Oh, brother. Chance. Good block. That's a dodgy clearance, but that's fine. Just turn around. Now, pass it forward. Oh, Chance. He's so open there. He's so open. Yes. Fullback. Yes. Nice, Iverson just driving. Iverson's driving. He's going all the way. Such a fruit to you. Oh, Riff, there's got to be a foul somewhere. What was that? Oh, he's kept it in. Brilliant. It's Iverson. It's Iverson. He's done it. He's done it, the Norwegian. In the 86th minute, get in. It's Iverson. His fourth goal of the season. Left foot again. Come on, that makes up for that fucking horrible miss earlier in the game. Crawley Town are cooking. The new gaffer has got us playing football. Oh, but yes. I thought I fucked it up with that touch. Slots at home. Sit down. Come on. Come on. Full time. Back to back, baby. Back to back clean sheets. Back to back victories. Back to back Iverson goals. And Crawley Town under the new manager. Uh, we're playing pretty well. We're playing pretty well. After doing the unthinkable and winning back-to-back -back league matches for the first time this season, we have been nominated for the second time this season for the December Player of the Month Award. And this is fully deserved. Our form under the new manager has been exploding now that we're playing in our natural role. And well, I think this comes as no surprise, but we have done it. We have won our first individual award for the first time in our professional career. And we've had a lot of people congratulating us as our manager comes first saying he is delighted to see the positive impact following the adjustments to the system. And he says, keep up the fantastic work. And of course, our teammates from Brighton both congratulate us on winning the Player of the Month award. They're just great guys. And as expected, our rival messages us trying to flex the 1-0 win Wimbledon had over us, even though he, he, he barely did anything. I think he's just a little bit jealous that someone other than himself is doing so well and outshining him. And long may it continue. But now enough about that. It's match day again as we are hosting Barrow. Barrow currently sit just outside of playoffs in ninth. While we still sit in 22nd but only one point behind Mansfield Town with a game in hand. Can we keep up this form and manage to win three games in a row? Let's find out. Nice ball. Try and flick it on to you. Number two. What well on? Play me. Yes. Iverson's through. Chance. Massive chance. What was that? Oh my god. Oh my god. He spilled it. What was that? Oh my god. That shot was horrible. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Keeper. What a save, keeper. What a pass. I did not see that coming. Oh, you could have won that. Oh, what a cross. What a cross. The keeper spilled it. Jesus Christ. Thank God the captain's there. God, the captain's good. No, why you play it like that? You dumb fucking idiot. Charge. Keep it. Yes. Nice. Nice, Telford. Iverson. All by himself here. It's Iverson against the world. It's Iverson against the world. Why is he not coming to the ball? The g Man, 
keepers in this game are just unreal. How has he not come to the ball there? That's fucking unreal. I'm about two centimeters away from him. Play number 24. Nice ball. Iverson. Drifting inside. Iverson. Oh, you've opened that up for me. And the touch is so fucking horrible. It's unreal. I don't know where I'm going. Nice ball. Play it back to me. Iverson with a chance. <laughs> Iverson is on fire. Have some of that Barrow. The fans love it. He's coming into his own. He's got the number, well, the number 10 roll, I guess. Not the number 10 jersey. What a finish. We'll take a mixture of shit keeping. We'll take a bit of mixture of that. But uh, I'm going to say it's a great finish. Come on. The player of the month has shown up again. Come on, half time. We get the goal just before the half. And it's Frederick Iverson who does it again. That's three goals in three games for the Norwegian. And at 10, at the 10 roll, he is cooking. And so much space. So much space. Iverson turns his man. It's Iverson. He's been his man. Plays it inside to Telford. It's two. It's too fucking easy. Crawley Towner cooking. The big man Dave's got us cooking some football. Come on. Yes, yeah, see you later, fella. Telford taps it in. And Crawley Town are two to the good. Looking for an unbelievable third. Third victory in a row. I can't believe it. And there we have it. Another clean sheet. Another goal for Iverson. Another victory for Crawley Town. And David Ar Art Artel. Uh, I've got to learn how to say his name properly. David Artel has got us playing beautiful football and we're climbing the bloody table. After another great performance, making it three wins in a row, it's safe to say the Crawley Town faithful are absolutely loving it under David Artel. This is a much better time for supporters as we're on the up, but one in particular has got a bit wild saying, dare I say it, promotion talk anyone. Brother, that might be a little bit ambitious. But now we have a real test as we travel away to Wrexham. Wrexham currently sit at the summit with a four-point lead over second place MK Dons. We have finally done it and moved up the table as we pass Colchester to move into 21st. Can we cause a massive upset and record our fourth straight win in a row? No way that's going to fall to him. No way that's going to fall to him. How lucky is that? Is that Paul Mullen? I think I saw number 10, yeah. Paul Mullen, I swear. How lucky is that? <sighs> Unbelievable. How is it? Like, what the fuck is that? Uh, not the best start in Wales. Well, Wrexham just bore me to death. They're just 70% possession. Passy, passy, passy. They do nothing with it. Obviously, they've scored, but that was some bullshit. I mean... It's been hard to break them down, but and I mean, that's why they're top of the table. Yep. Oh, I've seen him. Iverson. No! I wanted a back post, but then no one fucking made the movement. Oh, come on! Oh, bro, we've been poor today. Uh, he could be through there if he slips him. He does slip him as a chance. He pulls back, thank God. And then sex getting fouled. It's a mess. What? Iverson, what the fuck is that for a... T Bro, just stop and turn right. Oh, my God. Nice, Iverson. Good turn. Good turn. Iverson. Iverson still. Come on, get there. Yes, no. Telford, no. 26! No! Uh, maybe I should have tried to go for goal there. I don't know. That might have been difficult. What a turn. Oh, my 26. has had an absolute shocker today. And that has summed it up. How has he fucked that up? Oh, how has that got past you, number six? Chance for Rexham to finish the game here. Big chance. Big tackle. Fucking... That's a foul. Referee, What? Oh, come on, man. Full time. Oh, we lose. I mean, Wrexham are a good team. They dominated the ball. They bored us to death. 
And then the individual was horrible. I mean, I think we played okay. But, I mean, 26 was horrible. He gave away the ball every two seconds. After Wrexham stopped our winning streak, we have to look to bounce back as we now have another difficult game as we host Tranmere. Tranmere currently sit in third place fighting for promotion while we slip back down to 22nd after that defeat against Wrexham, but we do have a game in hand. Nice. Iverson, beautiful turn. Telford, uh, you're not helping me. It doesn't mean... Oh, I don't need help. Iverson! Yes, it's it! Come on! He doesn't need help! He'll do it himself! Have some of that, Tranmere! And Iverson scores again! I just kept going. I was like, well, I want to pass to someone, but number five left me go. I mean, that touch is horrible. But it doesn't matter a turn. And Crawley Town take the lead. Uh, it's just... Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep! Yeah. There was a shot! Still alive! That was a shot! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, manual finishing sometimes. I haven't been shooting enough because we don't play striker. And I am horribly bad. Oh, chance, chance, best of chance. It's in. Tranmere equalised. Third place Tranmere score. And it's game on. And they don't want to draw. The captain's done it. Uh, get off me. Number 11, I will two-foot you if you stop fucking... If you don't stop grabbing me, bud. I've got a bit of Roy Keane in me. Oh, Iverson, lovely turn in space. Lovely. Back to me. Iverson. 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 Weaving his way. In and out. It's going to be a beautiful goal if he can get it in. Chat! No, I've missed! I've missed that! No, I have not missed that. Ah, <laughs> oh, there was too much panicking. I was just spamming shoot. Oh, what a goal that would have been. In and out. They couldn't handle him. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, half time, what all? Oh, actually, I had it on target. It wasn't on me. It was actually on... My shot was borderline posted in. Borderline posted in. So it's not my fault. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Tim's so bad at shooting. Oh, he, he should lower it to see me. It wasn't my fault. So shh. Shut you. Shut you. Yep, I might. Oh, play me. Play me. Yes. Yes, Iverson. Iverson, what a run. Oh, what a save. Oh, nah. Iverson. He's, his dribbling has improved. Yes, Iverson's won it. Yes. Telford. Why did you fucking... Take a touch, Telly, mate. Telly tubby. Take a touch. Why did you... Sh I did not tell him to shoot that first time. If you want... If you want... If you wanted that information. I did not tell him to do that. That is unbelievable. Teletubby. I'm going to call him Teletubby now. Telford, Teletubby. Same thing. Why would you... Number two has to have the lowest IQ I've ever seen. That's the earlier, brother. Keep building him, 42. Number two, step in. The ball's right there, fella. Chance, Tranmere. At the edge. Hits it. Good save. Win that seven. Can you win that? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Good block. He's offside. Wank it. Oh, no. He handballed it. Oh, it was a, one of them. Come on. We survive. And that's full time. One all. Should have won. Should have won. To be fair, I keep it that make a few good saves. The games now that we're playing a more attacking system are way more open. Defensively. There's more chance being created against us, and there's more chances we're creating. It's more fun to play. I'm having a good time. We should have won this game. After that draw with Tranmere, the January transfer window has officially closed, and Crawley made no signings and no departures. But these are the top deals of the month. The biggest transfer was, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this guy's name, but Arayo, something like that, from Barcelona to Liverpool for a staggering $112 million. Hakimi ended up moving to Manchester City from PSG, Olmo to Atletico Madrid, and Chanaloglu to Chelsea. And some other big transfers as well with Nuno Mendes to Spurs. Afonso Davies replaces Mendes at PSG. U Upacano, <laughs> this is stupid, I can't pronounce his name. To Spurs and Konate to Napoli. But now something has happened which I didn't think was possible. And that is a Crawley Town manager has managed to win the Manager of the Month award. 
I didn't think it was possible with how bad we have been this season, but big credit to David Artel, who has come in and completely changed the club for better. And now the good news keeps flowing in as we have been nominated again, this time for the January Player of the Month award. And we will find out if we can do back-to-back -back Player of the Months after we travel away to Walsall. Walsall currently sit in 18th, five points ahead of us in 22nd, but a win here tonight could move us all the way up into 20th. No way has that got through. Chance. Massive chance for Walsall. He's missed! I mean, that's, that's a shit finish. <laughs> I would score that. Maybe. Nice touch. That was a through ball to me, was a 26. That's class, man. The oh, they're giving it away. Iverson. Can he make them fucking pay for it? He flicks it. Telford back to me. No, he's offside. Telford. Can you watch your runs, please? Jesus, man. Half time to low. It's been a pretty dead affair. Um, a few less sort of like close chances to get in behind. But really, nothing's happened. Oh, number two. I thought you would have had that. Oh, he's bit me. He's bit me. He's bit me. He's bit me. But he hasn't bit me again. And you're just giving him the ball. Jesus Christ, guys. Come on. Nice. Nice. Oh, for play me. Oh my god, this game. They cannot play over top through balls. Just hoof it line, man. Oh, this is a good chance. This is a big chance. And it's in. Oh my god. And in reality, that all comes from me asking through ball over the top. I'm in behind and they kick it two centimeters. That's a ball. That's not what I told you to do. It's fine. It's fine. It's worked. Iverson. Surely, Telford, it's in! Come on! Come on! Crawley Town level it, he's grinning on them! Oh, Telford, you dirty bastard, come on! Teletubby scores. Iverson with the assist, we get a bit lucky, I don't know how I bet that number 23. It was absolutely atrocious. But Telford slots it home, and we're level. No way. Keep it, please. Keep it, please. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. No fucking way. Oh, yeah. You're joking. You are taking the piss. What is that defending? Oh, we just fucking scored, guys. Oh, my God. I'm really not a fan of this right... Well, he's not a right wing, he's a right cam or whatever, but God, he is awful. And that's full time we lose. Oh, man, that is... It's disheartening. You know, we get level with 10 minutes there thinking maybe we can nick all three points and then you just give them a go. they shit defending. Uh... After that frustrating loss to Walsall, we do have more positive news as we have won back-to-back -back Player of the Month awards. The reaction on Twitter has been quite amazing as a lot of Brighton fans as well as Crawley Town fans have congratulated us on our achievement. Hopefully, there is many more to come. But now we are back in the action, but our gaffer has told us we will be having a bit of a rest as we are sitting on the bench for our upcoming match against Colchester. We are coming off the bench with 10 minutes left to play, leading 2-0. <laughs> you got to send him. Send him off. Come on, these refs have got to protect the players. They've got to protect the players. What is that? Should have played, played Telford there. Should play him for? No. You don't want to play him for either? Don't play me for? You do. It's Iverson. Plays it across. Goal. It's surely a goal. It is. He makes it free. It's Teletubby again. He gets his brace for tonight. That's a great that's a great ball. Number 26. It's better from you, fella. I mean, I don't know why I didn't go to 11, but it's fine. Salford scores. Iverson gets an assist. Come on. The counter-attack opportunity. Iverson. Oh my god, Iverson. Oh my god, Iverson. Iverson! <laughs> Sit down. The King of Norway is here. Have some of that, Colchester. Come on. How has that worked? I thought I'd kicked it too far. It's worked out perfectly. 
And Iverson, I want, uh, I wanted the goal. I thought I've already, I beat the player so well. I want to finish it off. Iverson scores, and then it is four nil to Crawley Town. It's a battering. Full time, four nil victory. The biggest victory this season from Crawley Town. And I'll be honest, I don't know what Dave's done. He's clearly hired a witch, did some voodoo shit because we are insanely good now. Change of tactics, change of personnel and staff, and we're a different team, a different beast, and we're cooking. I don't think there is a better way to finish an episode than recording our biggest win of the season. We have been unbelievable this episode. And this is how the final table stands as we move up to 21st place, recording four wins in David Artil's first eight games in charge. A beautiful uptick in form. On the other end of the table, Wrexham still lead the league with a very healthy lead of 11 points. We have been unreal this episode and it shows as we sit on 7 goals and 6 assists in 28 appearances with a massive average rating of 7.7 .7 in the league. And with our improvement in form we have found ourselves sitting in 9th in the top assist charts only 2 off Paul Mullen in 1st. But that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did and I'll see you guys in the next episode.